Hello everybody, my name is Aaron Judasma and today I will be giving you a brief code explanation of my lab view code. We have already gone over the Arduino code, this one is for the lab view code. So let's, let me just um, open up the lab view code. Let me just uh, show the block diagram. Um, you, you may not have a large TV screen and need, <clears throat> so I'm just going to it increase the dpi just just set it to 150 temporarily so you can see it much bigger but i feel like it should be a little bit bigger i think it just gets too big but it looks pretty good to me so yeah this is um my lab view code and all that so actually let's just um uh start from this tiny tiny mini chunk over here so what this really does is that it just loops through 16 16 times this whole loop goes through and for i i starts at zero so i have to add one and then we can sort of convert it into an array and put it under the channel number so it, so it automatically fills down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 16. Okay, so that's what this is used for. Uh, back up here, we have... The TCP open connection. <coughs> so this just really opens the connection with the address you passed in the address is actually very important even though it says unimportant Th this um, faded out shows that it's not important at all and these guys show recommended black these totally black ones mean you must put these there or the program won't execute at all it will give you big fat errors well, just terrors and fat ones. <laughs> Anyways, just be that up there. So this just opens a TCP network connection with the address, this thing, with and the port you passed in, which in this case. Three, three, four, eight. That's the point. And with the timeout, milliseconds. Yeah. Uh, so this thing, by the way, means thirty seconds. It will wait thirty seconds, and if it cannot connect in thirty seconds, error. That's it. That's what timeout means. So yeah, that's uh, it, it's in milliseconds. So thirty second would be half a minute, but since it's milliseconds and one second is eight thousand milliseconds, so that's why we kept it thirty thousand. So half a minute. So if there is an error, we just uh, display a message to the user with. and it says fail to connect to server side base <laughs> so yeah this is really just what it shows it just fails to convert it just shows you that you fail to connect to server please check it and whatever the usual things basically timeout This is just taking up a lot of space. Anyway, so if there is not an error, then we initialize an array of dimension size 2. You may be able to see it properly. Yeah, that's it. that so so 
Lord initializes with the element. So it creates an n dimensional array, as in you can stretch it out like this, what we just have. So it's a two dimensional array with with all of the values initialized to a zero and it's an integer value zero which is what we really need <coughs> and so that uh, this is feeds into a shift register and this feeds into a four uh, sorry a, a feedback node these two are very different trust me I don't know how this correlates to C code. I don't know. I really don't know. What of uh, this is. Uh, so, this just uh, through each loop, it, the value stays across each iteration of the loop. So, you can the last value the last the last value and so on but that only works in shift registers <coughs> if you do um, add element you can access the other element as well so the last the last like so <coughs> but that only works in uh, shift register not feedback loops feedback loops are a little bit different they necessarily need to be in a loop just like shift registers but they are not connected to the each side they are actually connected like this they can be in the middle so they don't need to be on two sides of the loop it might be the loop might be stretched very long like we have in this current scenario oh i forgot about that tiny tiny little thing. So then we just um, uh, connect it to server. Smiley face just added that right now. Just just for <clears throat> just for fun. So by the way, so if we successfully did it, then we print out a success, obviously. And in parallel, all of this happens. Labby actually supports multi-threading and multi um multi-value output functions like this that, that that is not possible in c as far as i know unless you use pointers but this works and then we read the tcp network with the must have connection id this thing that, that is uh, comes out of the tcp open connection and then we do the the mode of the <coughs> <sighs> mode so this just uh, waits until all the bytes in standard but we are actually using CRL waits until all bytes are specified in bytes to derive what the function returns function receives a carriage return you might have seen the terminator slap um, Asterisk slash r slash n. So just open it up more quick. So here it is. Carriage return line field. Right here. So that's how this works. So we did carriage return line field because that's what we really use here. And in here we set the time out to to actually one a whole minute will wait a whole minute and the bytes to read to just 10,000 we want to read whatever is in between those no matter how much there is so just put it 10,000 if, 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 I feel like there should be infinity bytes here but I don't think we can really keep that just get as many as bytes So here we just um, search and replace the string. 
So in the carriage return and line feed, we just delete the star character. This is what this really does. It just deletes the last ending star character because the control, uh, the carriage return and line feed are destroyed and terminated. They, they do not exist anymore. But the asterisk terminator still exists, so we need to get rid of that. So th that's what this does, just for security purposes. And whereas the spreadsheet string to an array. So it converts this um, a string, this string which is a delimited by commas, not tabs, okay? So we need to specify that. So with commas and and the format of the string, so we'll do a percentage s, or or we can also put uh, so that we do a format of string. So it's a type of string. And throw and uh, uh, array type and that's a uninitialized string array. We need to specify which array it is, even though we just have to, or else it might throw out um, a two <coughs> D two D DBL double precision, and then we get this array outside. So we actually don't do this um, implicit iteration as we do over here as a for each loop. We actually have to do it one less time because the last one ends up being a zero because after the last comma it still preserves a null value and null, null value is initial as said to be zero. Lab, you cannot accept that. There will be some errors as it keeps flickering. Like, ooh, 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 don't that the graph, the graph keeps flickering like that, and that does not look good. So we actually do it one less time, one less, one less iteration than the array actually does have. So that's what we really do. And then we convert each of these strings into a number, and we get a numeric array. With, with, the, with the last one not being a zero and then we compare each of those values okay so this so this is a for loop this is a for each loop <laughs> so this accepts it to, uh, expects accepts this to be a for each loop because you it's um, there's just no, nothing uh, put into this so this accept accepts this to be a for each loop so like that indexer by the way and then we check if it is not equal to zero so we go through each of these and we check if if they are not equal to zero and if all of them are <coughs> and if all of them are not equal to zero meaning any one of them is a value that is greater or not zero greater than or less than zero then we refresh the value like this but if all of them are zeros, then we don't care and we just do absolutely nothing. Just just keep looping in on itself so it will stay zero, zero, zero forever. As long as you don't keep it a, give it a non-zero value in any one of them. Okay? So yeah, like this. So if any of them are, if all of them are zero, 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 then we do not want to refresh and waste memory or processing or whatever graph processing anyways so if all of them are zero then we just don't care but if some of them are greater than zero any one of them is greater than zero or less than zero it will always be greater than zero but if there is anything less than zero it still works if it then it does a false meaning all of anyone one of them is not a z sorry it's true meaning one of them is not a zero and then we refresh it but if all of them are zero then we do not refresh it this actually part was a little bit complicated for me too even though it's so simple it's still very complicated <laughs> seems confusing huh so anyways here we insert it into the array at the value zero right here so it displays this value okay so insert it into the index 
column and the this row so this use the shift register for it not could have also used it replace with keyboard mode that that could have also worked with a little bit of editing that would have looked good as well but this works fine for me just as well so no need to tinker with it anyways so this output array was sort of a hidden array and this was like what i used to initialize it i thought okay this might work and whatever so like that this might work but turns out i have to set it every time and that is not ideal so then i found out this function exists initialize array so i don't have to wait but i still kept it there if you ever want to see the full thing so this sorry so yeah um forgot after uh, refreshing it or not refreshing it puts it into the received data this tell number of received data and yeah that's yeah that's pretty much it and um, okay and by the way for saving i showed you export export data to flipboard excel it's got simplified image you have four you have four of three options well, well four options dl add adm whatever that is i don't know what that is so, but that exists if you have a app one of those i don't Okay, so yeah, right. Um, that's. That's uh pretty much it, and um.